Hey guys, it is day seven of the Booktubeathon Readathon. So we've almost come to the end. I still have about eight hours until midnight on this last day. But I just thought I'd go through my Booktubeathon wrap up so I can show you everything that I've read in the past week. So on day one, I had a really good day. I started Time Stops for No Mouse, a Hermix Tantamock Adventure by Michael Hoai. Hoy. I also finished The Sands of Time by the same author, which is the sequel to Time Stops for No Mouse. Time Stops for No Mouse was my reread for this week, and then The Sands of Time I thought was going to be my finishing a series, but turns out The Hermit's Tantamock Adventures has four books in it, not two, so I didn't actually complete that challenge, but I tried. On day one, I also started The Deerslayer by James Fenimore Cooper, but I didn't finish it. Though on day two, I did finish The Deerslayer, and it was a really hard read because this is a very dense classic. I'm reading it for a class I'm taking next semester, and it did complete my book over 500 pages challenge. Then on day three, I read half of New Selected Poems by Robert Gray. So that on day four, I read the other half and finished this book. This completed my challenge for the book that's been sitting on my shelf forever because I've owned this for about two and a half years and only just got around to reading it. On day five, I started and finished How to Disappear Completely and Never Be Found by Sarah Nickerson. This was another reread for me because I remember reading it when I was about 12 and I had absolutely no idea what the story was about. I'd completely forgotten and now I remember. Day six was another good day. I started and finished A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This copy also has A Scandal in Bohemia, so technically it was two Sherlock Holmes stories, but I finished that on day six. This completed my Read a Classic challenge. Also on day six, I started Ricochet by Sandra Brown. I didn't finish it though, and I'm still reading it today. I have about 160 pages to go, and I'm confident that I can finish it tonight. If I do manage to finish this, I will have also completed another read a book that's been on your shelf forever challenge. So if I can finish Ricochet tonight, then I will have read all the books in my TBR, which is very exciting for me. So I just wanted to thank Raylene and Ariel for doing this booktube -thon. I had a really good time reading all these books this week, and it was really fun seeing everyone else participating. If you were interested in seeing what I thought of all these books, then I've posted all my ratings and I might add reviews later on my Goodreads account, which I'll have linked down below. And if you're ever interested in any of the books I read in the future, I always keep my Goodreads updated constantly. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye!